All right, welcome back to Wally Part Five. So I got all the arm pieces printed, as you can see here. I also got um, the main servo mounts we're going to be using printed. So I think this um, should be all the parts left to print for Wally. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get all these painted, and then I'll come back and I'll show you all the electronics we have left to um, finish up hooking in, so we don't have to have two batteries for Wally anymore, and also putting together all the parts for the servo, and then we'll get all that wired up. Um, so let me paint these, and I'll be right back. All right, so I got all the arm pieces um, printed and painted. Um, I also repainted the previous ones, at least this piece, and then I added the extra little feature. Um, I didn't have any black ink or black paint, so I had to do it in a Sharpie. I think I'm going to have to redo this one a little bit. Maybe I'll find some black paint at some point. might redo that one. This one came out re looking really good. Um, otherwise, I'm ready to assemble these now, finally. And I also... Uh, I did a different color gray instead of this silvery, like last time, and I think, I don't know, we'll see how both of them look, but I think I'm going to like this color better. Um, but I can just run this through real quick. It's just real easy. You have the, the ring on there. Make sure you slide that on first. Um, and I'll put these two together in there. There's a little notches actually in here, right there you can see. Um, that they, they both kind of fit into. Um, so you got the notch there and the notch in the other piece. Um, so you put all that together. And I'll do that again for this one as well. Alright, so I got that one together. This one's definitely a little bit tighter fit than the um, old one. This one here kind of just slides in and out. This one here is a nice, uh, just a little bit tighter. I do like that because it's going to it's gonna stay where, where you want it to more, uh, better. Um, other pieces, just on the end here, <clears throat> you've got your shaft. So that guy slides into the in-between there. And then, put that shaft through there. There we go. So that shaft's in there. That slides. So all this stuff's a little bit tighter on the new new print I did. Uh, you can kind of do it as loose as you want, just uh, whether you sand it or not. Um, so I'll put all the rest of these together real quick. And then I'll also show you that um, I do a little bit of, I do just a, um, so I do, I've just been doing hot glue, but what you'd want to do is you'd probably want to glue this ring in. Um, and then you just add a little bit of glue right on the top of this piece so that when you put these two pieces together, um, they don't fall apart anymore. So I'm, I'm not gonna glue it right now But if you want to make it permanent, that's what you do I'm gonna take a look at this hand to see how I did it cuz I don't, I don't remember exactly So it looks like it goes uh, that way. So we'll put that piece in there slide the, the piston through there get it kind of right in the middle there and Then we'll go ahead and put all the other pieces on so there's that finger the other finger and uh, Wally's hand is now done. Alright, so all the electronics finally arrived. So we got our servos. I just buy extra because it's cheaper to buy them in bulk. Um, we got the, I think it's the switching uh, voltage regulator. Um, so it's a little more efficient. This is what we'll use to uh, give power to the um, Arduinos and the Raspberry Pi instead of having two battery packs in there. And then we've got the uh, servo board so we can put more than one uh, one servo on there since we're running out of pins on the Arduino. All right, so I have the BEC we're gonna use. Um, so it has, you know, power in from the battery. I think these are good for up to like 4S. And then you have your power out. And I think you can switch, this one I bought, I think it switched between five and six volts. Um, and then to power the Raspberry Pi, you can either power it through the plugs or you can power it through the USB port. I believe the USB port actually has a, um, it's, it's a protected circuit versus the just plugging it directly in is not. That's why I like to do it through the USB. Um, so I just bought this at the Dollar Tree. Um, and we're just gonna, I'm just going to wire this straight onto here. And that way we can power the Raspberry Pi and hopefully have it with the protected circuit just in case anything does happen. Alright, so I'm going to put some of the servos in here. Uh, so just real quick, before I go ahead and screw anything in, I want to make sure that I do this the right way. So <clears throat> you guys will have to let me know. I'll, I'll play with both of them see which one I like more. I definitely need to touch a couple spots up on this one. I think I like the uh, darker gray a little bit better than the other one. So the electronics should hopefully be here later this week. Um, so we'll get to those uh, hopefully next in the video. Alright, so I have this special, um, it's just like a uh, thing to check batteries, but I can also check um, servos with them. So I checked it. it. Looks like the servos work, so I guess I just won't be able to move them by hand. 
This guy's gonna go over here. Um, we want to have this at a 90 degree angle here. And I think, based off of how I'm thinking. All right, so I got this guy, this side all hooked up. It looks like you want your servo horn facing straight up when it's um, in the middle. So right now it's about in the middle and it needs to be, it's uh, the servo horn is facing straight up this way. Um, so I have it all hooked up to my servo tester here so we can make the arm move. Looks like everything's gonna go ahead and work. Um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and glue both sides of this and then probably also glue the arm on. So I'll finish up the other side and then I'll um, go through showing you guys kind of how to hook up the top piece. I got the BEC wired up here. Um, so I wired the USB line right on top of that five volts out. Um, so I think I'm gonna take and just glue this guy right, um, right in here somewhere, probably right along there on that edge. Um, so I'm gonna get that glued. I'm actually gonna do it. I'm gonna do it this way. Um, so this this is the output side, and these two sides will go to the um, servo servo thing, and then the other, and then this blue cable will go down to the Raspberry Pi, which is down here. I got the BEC hooked up. Um, I did notice there was an issue with the wiring diagram. I think I have in the tutorial um, since I've redone it. So I'll update that. But otherwise, looks like everything's working. Um, I tested it, it does drive around still. So that's good. So see there, we can control it again. So, oh God, that's not good, it's fine. Um, so it still goes forward, I don't know what the watt was. <laughs> Uh, it's probably fine. I'll figure that out later. But anyway, everything still does work, so I think we're ready to do the servos. Fix the issue with the tracks again. So I put this new one on here. Um, this one's a little bit longer and has a little bit better rounded edges. This is the one that came off of there. Um, so I made this edge back here a lot more rounded, and I extend this out a little bit too to just to help to pop the tracks off as they come around on that wheel. Um, so this one should be uploaded. This is like the old version. There's like a, there's an there's an updated version on the other side, and this is the most recent updated version. Um, this one seems like it definitely works the best. So I'll make sure that's in the files. But now we can finally get on to working on the servos. Here's our um, servo control board. Uh, it's not going to use the V positive because the V positive just straight comes from over here. So we're only going to be supplying uh, we're going to be supplying power here, and then. I think I'm also just gonna rewire this back over to here because I don't have any more ports left on that Arduino for five volts right now. Otherwise, the uh, SDA and SCL lines are gonna be connected to the analog on the Arduino. Um, so we'll connect that real quick and then I'll code that up and I'll post that code to the GitHub. BCC is the one we're just gonna hook right back into the uh, five volts coming in over here. Otherwise, you would usually connect that to the Arduino, but it doesn't really matter here. As long as you connect all the grounds together, which is why we're gonna connect this ground right here on the end to the Arduino, um, everything should still be connected and we shouldn't have any issues. So I'm gonna get that uh, last uh, servo hooked up in the neck here and then I'll start plugging these guys in and I'll probably set it up so that you guys can hook all the servos you want for the um, full eyes and everything in there and it all should still run with the other guy's code. All right, so let's get this guy hooked in here. Um, so I'm going to hook this back up to uh, my little servo tester. I'm going to connect it and use probably a piece of wire, I think, instead. Um, I think there's like some linkage you can use, but I have a bunch of wire uh, laying around, so I'll go grab that. All right, so I got the eyes hooked back in here. Um, so we're just going to, and I got the servo uh, zeroed out, so it's in the center now. Let me screw this in real fast. bolts in there so I'm gonna stick that servo horn on there um, I'm just gonna stick it straight up and down I think for now it's not perfectly straight up and down but it'll be fine for our purposes since this one I think has a lot less uh, range of motion as well so screw that guy in there And this is the wire I'm talking about. I just have some of this laying around. So I'll make it straight. 
Um, it's pretty bendable as well. So I think if anything bad happens, it will just, uh, it'll just bend, so it should be fine. Pull it out right there. Bend it again. Okay. I got that wired up with the wire. Um, so we can go ahead and give a test here. I did have to um, redo my wire a couple of times there, like you saw, just because I um, had it. I guess it doesn't, it doesn't make the, the center isn't where the actual center is on this piece. So looks like that's the full range of motion right there. Um, so you could move it down to the lower down on this uh, bottom one to make it go a little bit further. I think it does uh, plenty right now. I might change that later on. At least you can tilt a little bit. So I think that's good enough here. Um, also, one other thing I just want to say is that when you're building all the wiring for Wally himself, mine's a complete mess right now. I think it would honestly be easier to maybe build uh, like a little cube that slides in and out with uh, the Arduino, Pi, and whatever your motor controller and probably servo board is. Just have it all so you can kind of take it out because right now it's extremely hard to access any of the wires. Um, I pretty much have to get my hand kind of like smashed in there and now I can't really get, like, it's extremely hard to get anything out of there now. So if I was going to do it again, I'd probably build that in some sort of cube so I could actually take it all out, change all the wires around, put it back in there. Um, since I already did it that way, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually hot glue all the wire connections that are in the Arduino because some of them uh, seem, to, seem, to, seem to keep falling out. So I'm just going to hot glue kind of the line where they hook in and the, into the Arduino pins there just so they don't fall out anymore. So, I got um, the servo controller board all hooked up. I added a little pigtail because I'm gonna have to, since I decided to put this on the top here, um, I'm gonna have to be able to unplug it from everything else down there. So, I have a little um, connector here that I'm gonna plug into my power for this. And then I also have um, the connector for the cables that are going to go to the actual Arduino. So, this is gonna be the ground, and these are the uh, actual data cables talking to this. Um, server board from the Arduino. So let's get all these plugged in. Just kind of hot glue anything that I don't ever want to come apart. Um. I got everything hooked up. I tested them. Everything works. So as you can see, everything's hooked up in here. Um, just look at the code to see which servo is hooked into what spots on the servo driver board. Um, got everything wired up here. I actually put the wrong servo board in the first time, so I had to tear all that back out because um, I put the because I, I have it I have it hardwired from the power pin here over to power the actual actual servo driver board because usually they have it where you power it from the Arduino to its VCC port. And then you have power coming from your battery to power all the servos. But for this one, um, since we're pushing five volts regulated out, I can just run it off on the off of the V positive to the VCC also instead of having to run another wire from the Arduino and just that way it eliminates at least one extra cable. Um, so everything there is hooked up. And push all that back in there again. So now that all that's hooked up, I'll just run through real quick. A couple of the neck joints don't work at the moment. So you can see there it's, it's trying. I need to fix that. The range of motion isn't great, um, but the arms at least do work. So so everything does appear to be working on him. I definitely have to go through and do some of the servo calibrations just to get everything moving how we want. And then I need to finish painting a couple things. But otherwise, for this video, I think we're good to go. Um, so please like and subscribe. And also, if you want to comment in the comments down below what our next project should be since we pretty much are done with Wally here. So I'll see you guys in the next video when we should have 
everything done and we can just drive them around.